I'm going to review here all the instruments that you would need for the hands-on section for our orthodontic mineral residency courses, where we teach doctors and their team how to perform orthodontic services for their patients in a general dental practice or a pediatric practice. And we also have team training or staff assistant training courses where the, your, your team can also be trained how to do orthodontics with you as a doctor. And um, uh, so I'm going to be going through step by step all the instruments that you would need for the type of done hands on section for both of these uh, staff training, assistant training, as well as doctor training courses. So I try to keep it really nice and simple so you can order, order these instruments uh, from basically any supply company. Uh, we got all these instruments from a company called ortho arch thank you for their help you can also reach out to them and or order a lot of these instruments from them okay so let's go through these instruments that you would need for basically treating patients as well as practicing your practice and uh, doing the type of done exercises okay so first you're going to need to be taking some pictures intro pictures and so you will need a camera so you can use either the shofu camera but you're going to need some kind of camera that has a ring flash shofu makes one that's a point and shoot camera but any camera that has a ring flash would work and then you will also need these uh, mirrors that has a occlusal mirror as well as a buckle mirror so uh, you'll be able to take some intro pictures so this is going to be important for taking records and taking pictures so make sure that you have good occlusal and good uh, buckle uh, view mirrors as well. After that, you're going to need some separators. I really like these neat spring separators and they come in two sizes. They come in a premolar size and a molar size. So you're going to need both of those sizes. And uh, you can also get these elastic separators. I tend to not use these because they tend to fall out, but you, I want you to get the practice with them. So we're going to practice placing the elastic separators. So you're going to need the bags of those. You don't need this many. You could just get a few. Um, and you could also split it between students because you're not going to use all these separators, especially for the practice part. And uh, you're going to need these uh, neat spring separators that uh, come in a molar and a premolar size. So make sure you get both of these separators for the practice. Then you're going to need a type on as well to practice placing brackets as well as band sizing the type ons and, and practicing placing tubes on the molars as well as bands. So you're going, going to need any type on. Uh, this type on is from OrthoArch. You can use any type on you would like, but if you order it from OrthoArch, they will make sure that they give you bands that correspond to the type on sizes. Okay, so you're going to need a type on of some sorts where you can practice placing the brackets as well as the bands as well as the molar tubes. Then you're going to need bands for the type it on and uh, you make sure that the bands fit the type it on. Like I said, if you order the type it on from OrthoArch, they, make, they will make sure that to give you bands that correspond to those type it ons. And I would get these molar bands for all of the first all of the first molars, both the upper and lower arch. And they should come in low baggies like this. And you should have four bands for all of the first molars. So you're going to need these bands as well. After that, you are going to also need some molar buckle tubes. This is just so that we can practice not just band, but also placing buckle tubes that look like this. They're tiny little buckle tubes. They almost look like brackets that go on the molars, okay? So I would get um, all of these buckle tubes for the first molars. And like I said, you will need four because you're going to need two for each of the lower molars and two for the upper molars. So these are called buckle tubes. You can see it on the back. They're buckle tubes. And you want to make sure that you get four of these for all of the first molars. Dollars. After that, you will need band pushers for band sizing, um, for band sizing the type on. And there are two band pushers. There is the really beefy ones, this one. So that's that one. It's a heavy band pusher. It's called a heavy band pusher. You're going to need one of these. And you're going to need one of these bite sticks. Uh, these are also for band sizing. And here's, this is a band seater bite stick, okay? So you're going to need one of this. This is the bite stick band pusher. And this is the heavy duty um, band pusher, okay? So you're going to need one of these. So one from this and one from that, okay? So you're going to need both of these for the band sizing exercise. This is also for the band sizing exercise uh, for the type on. You will also need a band remover, okay? So this is what the band remover looks like. So you're going to need one of these instruments as well. And don't forget, you are going to be using these instruments for treating patients as well. So these instruments are not just for doing the type on exercises, but you're actually going to be using these instruments for treating patients as well. So this is a posterior band remover. So you're going to need this as well to remove bands from, uh, from the molars, from both the type on as well as for your patients. So you're going to need one of these band removers, okay? 
then you're going to be need, needing some ligature directors, okay? So this is my favorite ligature director. OrthoArch has this one. Um, they should come with both ends, okay? So one end is a band pusher and the other end is a ligature director. So I really like these instruments because these actually come on, you know, one instrument has both of them. So I really, really like this. Uh, you could ask OrthoArch to see if they carry this type. Uh, they also have a ligature director that looks like this, okay? So they look the same. This is the same as the one from OrthoArch. Either one of these would work. You just need a ligature director. So this is just simply a ligature director. So you're going to need one of these, okay? I really like this one that comes with a ligature director on one end and a band pusher on the other end. These are super nice. And uh, OrthoArch also has this one that has a ligature director at the end. And you can get these instruments from any company. We just supposed to, we just uh, happen to be lucky to have OrthoArch that help us out with these instruments. And they make great instruments. So make sure column as well and they should be able to set you up with a lot of these instruments so you're going to need a ligature director okay you're also going to need some uh, some arch wires so this is just a 12 uh, nickel titanium arch wire you don't need too many you just need two you just need one for the upper arch and one for the lower arch just so that we can practice tying them in after we place brackets on a type on so you're going to need an arch wire i would get either a 12 or a 14 nickel titanium arch wire doesn't matter if it's 12 or 14 just get two of them okay you are also going to need some brackets. So these are just uh, any brackets, MBT or Roth brackets will be fine. Just a simple metal twin brackets, whatever is the least expensive. You don't need expensive brackets, just get any metal uh, twin brackets, uh, either MBT or Roth, doesn't matter at all. And these are the brackets from OrthoArch. You can get it from really any company. Just get the least expensive metal twin brackets. Then you're also going to need some ligature ties. So these are the short ligature ties. You're going to need some of these. They, they look like this. They call it short ligature ties. And then you're also going to need some long ligature ties. Um, this is what those look like. And you're going to need this for lacing. And you will also need some elastic ligatures or elastic ties. And they look like that. So you're going to need short ligatures, long ligatures, and elastic ones. Then you're going to need some instruments to place brackets. So this is a bracket placer or bracket holder. This is what it looks like. And then you're also going to need a molar tube holder. This is what that looks like. So a bracket holder as well as a molar tube holder. And then you're also going to need a math out and this is going to help you place the arch wires as well as to tie the ligature ties in. Okay, so you're gonna need a math out as well. You will also need a bracket height gauge, and I really like these swivel heads, so these have two ends, so uh, they come with different measurements, and it's on one instrument, which is great, and you're just going to need one of these. It's called a swivel head bracket height gauge, and then you will also need just any power chain, okay? Any color, any power chain will do. This is just for the type of on exercise, but you will also use this on patients. After that, you will need some cutting instruments. You're going to need a distal end cutter that holds the wire. That's also a flush cutter. You're also going to need a pin and ligature cutter. That's a fine cutter. And you will need a hard wire, heavy duty cutter instruments too. This is to, for cutting arch wire. So distal end cutter, pin and ligature cutter, and heavy wire cutter. After that, you will just need a couple more instruments, and this is a bird beak plier. So this is what that looks like, a bird beak plier, and also a three-prong plier that looks like that, okay? So you're going to need a, a bird beak plier as well as a three-prong plier. I would also get a face mask. This is for class three pa uh, patients treatment in phase one orthodontics. So if you're going to be treating a lot of kids who are class three, I would also get a face mask. You're going to be, you're going to be using this quite a bit for children in phase one. So these are basically all the instruments you would need for the hands-on section for any of our courses. Like I said, you can share it between students. Make sure you contact OrthoArch or any company you would like, and they will help you out uh, for buying these. OrthoArch donated these instruments to us, so that was really helpful. So uh, let us know if you have any questions. So these are, if you get these instruments, you'll be able to practice all the hands-on sections in all of our courses, assisting course or mini residency, any of the hands-on practice these instruments will do. Okay, have a good day. Bye.